I'm an animal rights photographer, uh, animal rights activist, uh, and undercover investigator in European Union. That's the least what I can do for the animals to, you know, show show their stories you know, for the for other people and the, and also like for the consumers that uh, they are basically lied by the industry and they're not aware of what's going on with the animals that they, that they consume. The main thing is like what happens behind the walls of factory farms, but also like family farms and slaughterhouses and other places that animals are, are exploited. Animals are suffering, the animals are going through the real hell. And, but I can clearly say so far I've been doing this for maybe like four or five years. This kind of work is very, very dangerous, it's very stressful. I think I can say other people that do this work too, they, they have some problems, they suffer from some mental problems. So as long as I'll be able to, to do that, I'll do this. It would be very weird to say that it's not hard because every single time when you visit places where animals are abused, whether it's like, you know, a big place or a small place, uh, it is hard because you, you know, these animals soon will be dead. And basically at the time when, when I publish my work on Instagram, these animals are already killed. So, so yeah, it is hard because you still think about them, you know, why and what could you do? Sometimes you, you know, sometimes you are like still helpless, but at some point that's, that's the least what I can do for them. Because I visited like chicken industry, you know, egg industry, dairy industry. For me, the worst uh, thing to see is like dairy farms, because like when you have on your, on a bottle, if you mind, that these animals are, you know, it's mostly mothers and they are used like a machines and they are treated like, like, just like pure machines for milk. And when you see what happens, you know, to their babies and like all the processes that go with that, it's, it's, ver it's, it's, it's very, it's very hard to see that and like stay, you know, uh, stay normal. Uh, but for sure, like one of the worst things I've ever seen was like, you know, uh, taking babies from, from the dairy mother, uh, you know, seeing the grief, seeing how she reacts for that. It's like, it's hard to imagine. Right now, uh, I'm working on some, uh, few, like I can say like two or three international projects, but I cannot reveal what is it yet. Poland is my origin country. I do focus my work there, but if there's any chance to go to other countries such, you know, Slovakia, Germany, Austria, or I don't know, Spain, Czech Republic, I'm always, uh, I'm always happy. I'm always happy to go and, you know, help other activists and, you know, commit uh, with myself to the world. So it's very important for me to hide my identity because like you never know, you know, because you don't know these people. Maybe they want to do something bad for you or, you know, just for the sake of my own security and the security of my, you know, family and close people. Because what I do is very dangerous and also seek for the animal rights activists because they are aware. Animal rights activists do investigations. Uh, they do undercover, so, and also they want to protect themselves from us. My point of view is that animal welfare exists only on the paper, but in real life, in reality, nothing has changed for, you no, know, nothing has changed for the animals. Like, it's still, they're still exploited and it doesn't matter if you put one, like a, I don't know, some improvement to the farm, right? It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they will still end up in the, in the same place, which is slaughterhouse. Animal welfare, you know, is like, in my opinion, is kind of lying also to the people who wants to really help animals because it only like make you feel better about your, you know, 
diet choices, you know, while you still, while you still basically participate in this, you know, cruelty. I receive a lot of, you know, feedback that because of my work, someone went vegan, uh, or someone started to, you know, look on animals are just like, you know, like they are not products or objects; they are individuals. Uh, so for sure, I can say my work, my photos changed someone. It changed uh, someone's, you know, mind, perspective on viewing animals. Still, like there are some organizations that use my you know, use my work for their you know campaigns mm. so yeah i can say i can clearly say it there is a change remember if you're if you're an animal rights activist just don't go you know for fights between the movement just do your job that's that's animals need because they don't need our you know like struggles you know our you know social problems you know between some other animal activists so just don't be afraid and do your job and you don't have to prove anyone uh, that you did something better just do what you think is right and just and just continue to do that right